Hi, and welcome back to another episode of Len's Den and Friends podcast. I'm Len from Len's Den, and I'm here with a very special guest, one of my dear friends, Dizzy Queer. Uh, their real name's Devin, though, but uh, yeah, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. How are you dealing with everything going on? Um, honestly, I'm doing okay. I have like definitely the, I have a healthy amount of anxiety right now, I think. (laughs) Um, but I think overall I'm doing pretty good. I'm able to like stay at home with my partner. So, um, you know, we're just to hear. try and keep ourselves busy. Glad you're so yeah. Hope everyone is safe and well. Yes. Um, so... I wanted to have Devin on here to talk a little bit more about who they are, what their channel is about, stuff like that. So um, tell us a little bit about yourself. Where are you from? How old are you? Uh, <coughs> um, so I'm 24 years old. Um, I was born and raised in like the Vancouver area, um, which I do still live in. Um, I did live in the interior for like a couple months, but it was not my scene, so... We moved back. <laughs> um, I used to be a dancer. Um, Ooh, what kind of dance? <laughs> um, I did kind of everything. I did like tap, jazz, ballet. I was actually a ballet teacher for two years. Um, yeah, um, Multi-talented was- queen over here. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm happily engaged to my fiance. Um and I have two little fur babies that take up all my time. So, and I have a YouTube channel. And I post on there sometimes. <laughs> so that's me. Hell yeah. yeah <laughs> love that. So what is your channel about? What kind of videos do you make? Um, I honestly just kind of make whatever pops into my head. Um, I... A lot... Well... Almost every time I'm stoned, I'm usually taking some edibles or (laughs) smoke on the on the boat bag, whatever. (laughs) Um, Mm -hmm. So I usually am stoned. I usually talk about being stoned, Um, and then other than that, I just kind of do funny stuff. And and sometimes I'll talk about like LGBTQ things because I am a lesbian myself. Um, but hell yeah. Yeah. I just kind of try and keep it light. have a good time. You know, I want people to come to my channel and laugh and Mm -hmm. feel like they can relate to someone and, you know, all that good stuff. So. Yes. Yes. Um, (laughs) no, I love that. Your channel is definitely always a good time. I know that like, I can, like, if I'm having, like, a bad day or something, I could, like, watch your channel and, like, look for a video and, like, immediately start laughing. You're hilarious. And it's, like, effortless. I love it. Um, But, yeah, no, I love what you do. So how did you come up with the name Disney Square? Um, It's actually a super unenthused story. I just kind of... (laughs) I was trying to come up with a name because originally I was going to be doing like, sorry, I'm a little stoned. I've been smoking all this morning. No, you're good. (laughs) Completely fine. I think we all are. (laughs) Um, But I originally started my channel to um, be mainly focused around weed. Um, I was going to be making exclusively weed content, um, but I did Mm -hmm. kind of get to a point where I was like, I don't want to like put myself in a box. I'm going to do whatever I want to do. If I'm stoned, I'm stoned. If I'm not, I'm not. Um, But so I wanted to use a different name than like my um, legal given name because at the time um, weed was not legal where I was. Um, Gotcha. So So you've been doing this a while. Just a little bit. Yeah. um, It's been almost two years, I think. Oh, wow. Okay. Congrats. Like, trying to do it, like, steadily. Um, Mm -hmm. But so, basically, I was trying to come up with a name, and I was, it's not my forte. (laughs) Coming up with, like, names, like, I have no idea what I'm doing. So, basically, what I did was I just wrote down a bunch of random words on a piece of paper. um, And things that, I I didn't want to have a name that was, like, you know, 
420 blaze it or like <laughs> just like you know something that was just like no shade but yeah <laughs> no shade at all like fucking live your best life like if you want to have your username with 420 blaze it like fucking yes um, no, 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 I <laughs> no, yeah, but like for 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 my like brand, I guess air quotes. I was like, mm-hmm. oh, not air quotes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just I think I wanted to have something that was a, a little bit more subtle, but like still mm-hmm. kind of like weed related. Um, yeah. So I, I honestly, the dizzy part came from like. I get dizzy when I smoke, <laughs> like always. Oh my god, do you? Yeah, it doesn't matter what I smoke, what strain, how I smoke it. I almost always get dizzy when I smoke. Um, or oh, when I wow. use cannabis because I get it from edibles as well. Um, so mm, I wrote okay, that okay. down as something related to weed for me because, like, you know, that's what that's just a term mm-hmm. in my head that I have because it happens to me. Um, and I wrote down the word queer because I was like, you know, I'm gay, queer, bring queer back, you know, um, and I just can't, I picked Dizzy cause I really liked the word. I don't know. I was like, that's a cute word. It looks cute. So I'm gonna pick that one. No, and yeah. Your name's I, adorable. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then I think the word on the paper that like, made sense with dizzy was queer so i was like that's heckin cute let's go with that <laughs> so yeah <laughs> yes i love it so what inspired you to make videos was there a certain person a certain video that you watched was it the type of content that you were like i don't see this so i want to do this or yeah what was it totally um I honestly have been, well, <laughs> I don't want to like out myself. <laughs> um, I had a YouTube channel a couple of years ago <laughs> with a group of friends. Oh, okay. That was terrible. Mm-hmm. It was really bad. <laughs> we made terrible videos. We all okay. had a different idea of what kind of YouTube channel we wanted to make. So, um, and none of them meshed <laughs> So uh, I love that. Yeah, it was not. It was not cute. I'm not gonna lie. Um, so, but I basically, I've always wanted to make YouTube videos. I just didn't. I really didn't know what I wanted to do. And without like a group of people helping me, I didn't feel confident enough to do it. Um, like after, because mm-hmm. that spoiler alert: that YouTube channel didn't last. <laughs> um, we stopped making videos. Honestly. <laughs> Not very long after we started it, so I wasn't on the YouTubes anymore. Oh. I just wasn't confident enough to like do it on my own yet. Mm-hmm. Um, so this time around, honestly, the thing that like made like made me confident enough to start creating videos was actually my partner, um, my fiance. Aww, I feel like. Uh, I'm going to be so sappy. Um, <laughs> but like, let's do really- it. Let's go for it. <laughs> um, this relationship genuinely like changed my life. I like just, I learned so much about myself and about like the world around me from having this person in my life. And, and I feel like I never really had the right people in my life up until this point that like built me up mm-hmm. rather than tear you down. Um, mm-hmm. So I just, having them in my life was really what gave me the confidence to like do it. Um, and just say like, fuck it. Like fuck people. Sorry. Can I swear? <laughs> I asked yeah. That. I mean, can you watch my videos? Me? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> just want to make sure. <laughs> um, no, yeah, you're good. You're fine. Uh, but yeah, just say like, fuck it to anyone, you know? Cause I, I had a lot of people, from my personal life that were following me on my Instagram when I started all of this. Um, and so I was Mm -hmm. honestly super scared to like start putting myself out there like that. Um, but yeah, you know, D really gave me that confidence. Understandable. Yeah. Um, 
to like want to per- really like actually pursue my dreams for once, you know, and not worry about what other people thought about like my life and my lifestyle. Um, <laughs> yeah. So that that was really the big like push, I think. We love that so much. So cute. Yes. <laughs> so, um, I mean, I guess this would kind of have to do well like you kind of gave the answer but I think you could probably like talk about it a little bit more but um we've talked about well like you have anxiety and you're kind of open about it and um I know we just talked about like how Desi gave you that confidence but was there anything else that like kind of you're able to like push past it and be like I just I want to do it and I'm gonna do it yeah it's yeah, um, I think honestly, creating with anxiety is is really hard. <laughs> it is like a huge challenge. Um, mm-hmm. And honestly, the best way that I try to get through it and push through it is to be patient with myself. Um, basically, what I'll do is like, yes. you know, also like I want to film today, um, mm-hmm. and I want to aim to film for like this time. But if I'm like if I get to that time and I'm like way too anxious, I'm like, you know what? It's okay. Just like take a, take an hour, you know, just like take your time, get stoned if you need to, like basically trying not to give into those feelings, but like acknowledging them and dealing with them and like Mm -hmm. overcoming it that way. Kind of, um, my partner again is also like a huge help, obviously, you know, when they can tell that I'm like feeling anxious, they're like, okay, what do we need to do to like make you, get you into a whole place yeah. ready to do this um so you know having that support is like fucking huge for me um and yeah. honestly weed <laughs> which is why I usually film stone is because I <laughs> I need my medicine to exist you know <laughs> I like I need oh, yeah, it to be course, able, I'm like, relatable. you know live life basically. yeah to like yeah be who yeah, I am. Yeah, but I'm, like, no, I'm, I'm glad you like. I, I yes. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> it definitely does do that. It like <laughs> helps anxiety so much. And oh, but, yeah. Now it helps so much. Um, what yeah, are really some does. other it's creative like, outlets probably. you enjoy? Um, I. Here's the thing for me. Um, I am a very insecure person. We're about to get real deep, Lynn. I hope you realize. Okay, let's do it. Let's fucking do it. It's you and me. Let's do this. <laughs> um, I am the most insecure human you'll ever meet. That's a really bold statement. I'm a very insecure human. <laughs> um, <laughs> I second guess everything that I do. Um which Mm -hmm. as a creative is really hard because you produce something and you're like shit because I made it. Um, Mm -hmm. And so having a creative outlet is something that I'm like always striving for because, you know, obviously I am a creative and I have these thoughts and I'm like, I want to put this onto paper and whatever, but I often don't have, um, the confidence in my own abilities to create what I want to create. Um, so mm-hmm. that in itself is sort of something that I have been trying to overcome. Um, and something that I do feel that I have yeah. in part overcome because I definitely, you know, have. Oh, no, you definitely do. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, but when I, do feel confident enough in my ability to do things. Um, (laughs) I really like to play the guitar. I like to sing, um, which is something I've been talking about sharing on my Instagram, but haven't yet. Will we ever, will we, (laughs) oh, will we, so, so we will, that was my next question. Will we hear anything from you singing wise? Um, I don't know about like writing my own songs, but possible covers in the future. Mm-hmm. Um, which is something I've definitely like talked about. Okay, but, like, we're still down for that. 
Ah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I like, I like music. Um, I've been getting more into drawing. That's also something that I like, you know, haven't really done much of because I hate my drawings. <laughs> um, but everybody starts somewhere. Exactly. That's everybody. It literally takes practice. And that's like, like I started posting my, my makeup looks on Instagram because I legit could see the difference in me from February to now late March and like yeah. you just have to continue to practice and like no matter like how shitty it looks and how much the back of your head is being like listen you'll never get there you're not gonna have yeah. art like this one or that one and it's not gonna ever look like that like just tell that bitch to shut up <laughs> oh totally because you just have to practice and you end up just finding whatever ends up working for you because it's like it's your own individual thing it can be such like therapy too no totally I 100% feel that and honestly I have been like loving watching your stories every day because like I feel like I am like seeing your makeup journey you know of like this is where I started Thank you. <laughs> like oh, oh my bitch. Like, you so you much like, <laughs> like how much creativity you put into your makeup looks like oh keep it coming keep it coming boo <laughs> yeah. I will no I appreciate you thank you um where do you see your channel in a year um I see it Honestly, I feel like in terms of my content, I see it being mm -hmm. pretty similar. Um, okay. Obviously, you, know, you never know where you are in a year, right? So, like, I could find some mm -hmm. new way of editing or whatever that I like better. But um, And I do, oh, yeah, I definitely. think I, I want to see more complex editing from myself, you know, more like just putting yeah. more things into it and like trying new stuff with like mm -hmm. editing um and you know i want to see i want to see some growth for myself <laughs> oh yeah you know we all want to see a little bit of growth you know <laughs> um definitely no oh, i love that yeah. um and then do you see yourself still having a channel in five years if you do do you think you'll still be making this game content? Um, honestly, I think I, I hope I still have a channel in five years. You know, even if like no one was watching, it's like, I, mm -hmm. I like creating and like, I love going to edit my videos and like seeing the finished product and, and seeing how I can, yeah. like, you know, change like an hour worth of footage into like six minutes of, what I find to be kind of funny, you know? So fun. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. And so in in the regard of just, like, making videos, I kind of hope I still am because I just, I like to do it. Um, and I like, mm -hmm. you know, I like doing, like, little projects. That's basically what it is, right? It's, like, little projects, you know, every week or whatever. Yeah. So, um, I do hope that I still have a channel. Um, and in terms of the content, you know, I do honestly kind of seeing myself making the same kind of content in that just doing, you know, like funny, you know, random things that make me yeah. laugh. <laughs> um, no, I love it. Yeah. So I, I think obviously, you know, five years is a long time from now, so I would probably change as a Definitely. person. Um, I'm sure it, five years from now, my channel will look different. Um, but I think in terms of the content, I hope it is kind maybe, of the same. Maybe, maybe we'll look back on it. Maybe right? we'll do like a looking back at your channel five years. Oh my God, I Lynn. Let's do it. <laughs> do it with me. <laughs> yes, of course. Obviously. Come on. Um, <laughs> have you ever gotten any hate? Uh, yes. Um, okay, how have you dealt with it? Um, 
I think, I honestly, there's only like one time that really like sticks out in my head. And basically it was like, um, an Instagram picture that I posted and my boobies were out a little bit without a bra. And, um, <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't even remember what he said, but after they said, I don't know, it was a, it was a random made up um, Instagram. So I don't know who it was, but whoever okay. it was. Wow. Commented on my boobs and how they were like saggy or whatever, or, like put a bra on or something like that. Um, what the hell? I honestly, I just kind of. I feel like I've gotten to a place in my life where I'm like, I, I know who I am as a person. And yes. I don't really. If we you love to see it on the internet <laughs> um, because I thought it was cute and I wanted to post it. You and do, it was, you, you do all the time. <laughs> um, so I think it upset me at first, but I was just kind of like, mm-hmm. I was honestly just kind of like angry, and not even just for myself, but like for like other people that it happens to. I'm like you dude like who are you to come talking to me about my tits right on my instagram that you can right. just happen to click on somehow you know i'm like mm-hmm. uh, it, i just i just no, don't understand no. where do you put that comment i don't i don't either so what would be your advice for someone who also wants to make videos but maybe doesn't have that confidence or they're just a little too shy? Um, I think... I think getting to know yourself is mm. a huge way to, like, build confidence. Um, to, like, really, like, get down to, like, the deep, dirty shit of, like, who you are as a person and, like, why you do things um, can, like, really help in that confidence. And, like, like, just finding, like, what you like and what you don't like and, like, really knowing, like, the answers to those questions can just really help you feel like you know who you are are as a person, which makes you less worried about what other Uh people think of you, which then in turn allows you to create because you're like, I love this. I don't care what other people think of it. I'm going to put it out there. Um, so I think the best way to like ease that anxiety is to build that confidence, learning who you are as a person and just like saying, fuck it to what other people think, you know? Um, and also Mm -hmm. find someone that supports you on your journey. Find someone Mm -hmm. that like, again, will lift you up rather than like tear you down. You know, find friends that would like watch every video that you post. Yeah, no matter what. Friends that would be like, oh my God, you post on YouTube. That's Hell so yeah. weird. You know, like just finding mm-hmm. those like like minded people. Um, and smoke some ganja, dude. <laughs> that shit <laughs> helps, I promise. <laughs> yeah. No, it definitely does. No, sure. And if if the THC doesn't help you, you could always try CBD if, and see if that helps your anxiety as well. Exactly. If, um, if THC so, makes you dizzy, try CBD. <laughs> <laughs> we love it. Um, mm-hmm. Thank you so much for being on my podcast. I appreciate you, you. so, so, so much. Uh, if you want to check out any of Devin's videos or their Instagram, Twitter, yeah, I'll link it, everything down below. And yeah, thank you again. You're amazing. Keep up the great fucking work. Keep being confident as fuck. Keep learning about you because that's fucking amazing, dude. That's what everybody needs to do. And you're a hundred percent right. That's how you build confidence within yourself. And yeah, love you. Love you. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, Bye from the den.